You are Locked On Bulldogs, your daily podcast on the Georgia Bulldogs. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hello and welcome to the Locked On Bulldogs podcast. I am Daniel. I'm Clint. Welcome back to Locked On Bulldogs. You're the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. And we will be here all the way leading up to the first playoff game. Because, Daniel, that's what we do as fans. We have all the time in the world to sit and to stew in our own toxicity. I have no clue. Um, We could just choose not to be fans, Daniel. I guess that's... I guess we could. Okay. But then how would we get to interact with all these delightful people in the comments? By the way, by the way, I legitimately am thinking of a vocab, like in the lexicon, I am thinking of a new name to give all y'all lizards down here. I haven't thought of it yet, but just yeah. not Georgia fan. Georgia fan, you, you good. You get us. You, you some want, you are, maybe, some of you not as good, but most of you fine. Most of you are fantastic. All the other ones, I, all you, all you reptilian sized peanut brain people. I'm coming up with a word for you. I don't know what it is yet. Um, oh, hey, glad you're here. This is yeah. fans, by fans. So listen, we didn't <laughs> really quick. Today's, today's podcast is brought to you by On Location. On Location, official hospitality partner of the NFL. Daniel, it's called Locked On Bulldogs, but it is for fans, by fans. And so it is. Who are we to tell you that you shouldn't be here? Um, absolutely. You got nothing better to do. And so come That's hang right. out with us. It's fine. We're all good. Um, <clears throat> you won the national championship after all. So congrats again to you. Kudos to you. I'm so thrilled for you that on December the 4th, 2021, you won the 2022 college football playoff national championship. And so, wow, what an honor. You are so good that you won it a month and five days earlier than it was played, which is before anybody else, Daniel. Unbelievable. Okay, Clint, it's Thursday, yeah. and yes. we are going to jump into some this or that's. We Ooh. have some this or that's, and um, some pretty straightforward questions, Clint. But I think some thinkers when you really when you really get down to it. Okay, so we're going to go through these. We've got three of them, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna start us off with the first one. Are you ready? All right, bring it. Okay. The first one is simple and it's about Alabama. So Alabama fan, glad so glad so glad you're here. So glad you're here. All right, this is simple. Don't overthink it, but but maybe okay. it's gonna make you think. Okay. You can get with this. Cincinnati wins on January the or December the thirty first. Or you can get with that. Alabama wins on December the 31st. See what he's doing here, people, is he's, are we trying to exercise demons or are we trying to get the lesser team? Do we want the natty or do we want to defeat Alabama? I mean, did, we don't even know if we'll be there. I mean, Jim Harbaugh, heck, heck of a coach. Heck of a <laughs> coach. I'm Daniel. sorry. Daniel. I'm sorry. I'm there. Tom Green. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I was joking about that, too. Okay, you listen to me right now. There's a, there's a couple of things. There are, there are now two things that I will no longer respect from you. Kenny McIntosh slander is out the window. Just out the window. I'm not listening to it anymore. The second thing is Jim Harbaugh love. I'm not going to listen to that any longer. Those two things so, are... Do you want Cincinnati play. to win on December the 31st, or do you want Alabama to win on December the 31st, Clint? Get your bravado-beating, rooster-crowing, peacock-feathering butt out of here. Give me Cincinnati and give me them twice on Sundays. I don't need to beat Alabama to have a national championship. I need to have the national championship. That's the goal of it. It's like saying, would you rather beat Alabama in the SEC championship and not make the playoff? No, I want to make the playoff. Every time, give me Cincinnati. And... And keep your, well, that's the easy way out. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's a national championship. All of your logic checks out. And I agree. <laughs> I, listen, no, no, no. I'm agreeing with you. Okay, but. Everyone, here's, no, here's what I will say. Everyone okay. who disagrees with you. Uh-huh. I reject their logic. Just like you do. Just like you're saying. Like, I reject the logic that you have to do this 
to prove that it's valid. I reject the logic that like, I mean, I would love it for people to come and tell me that I want a fake national championship. I mean, do you understand? Like this is fill up the comments with it. If we please, were fake national championship, please. That would be great. don't care. Don't care about any of it. And on Friday, last Friday, and yeah. last Thursday, and the day before yeah. that, and the day before that, and the day before that, and the day before that, I would have told you if we lost this game to Alabama and Alabama made the playoff, which they would I have, wouldn't want to play them again. I I would have said if we were in this scenario, okay, I would have said exactly what you said. I would have said, "Give me Cincinnati." Okay, I'm, I'm, this is okay. We're but weaving now, here, but now I've seen it, Clint. I've seen it. I've seen us lose to Alabama, and. I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't care about much else but but beating Alabama. I don't. I don't. And I if it's for the national championship and they beat us for the SEC championship and we beat them for the national championship, Clint, it is okay. everything that you've ever wanted it to be right there. And to be honest with you, I would rather Georgia play Alabama every game for the rest of the program's history than play them every once in a while and always lose. I would just like, let's just, this stupid game and the stupid narrative that surrounds it is so idiotic that I like, I can't watch them. Now, would I laugh my head off as they lost to Cincinnati? And would I, would it feel amazing to watch that game? And would it feel amazing to win the national championship? And would that national championship be totally legitimate? Of course it would. But at this point, Clint, I don't even care anymore. I don't, I don't even care anymore. I want to beat Alabama to win the national championship. I want the rematch. I want that to be the way that the season is written. Because if that's the way the season is written, Clint, then all of the pain from December the 4th is not erased. No. No. It's formed into Mm. joy. Mm. I see what you're saying. It's not now gone. It's still there, the feeling, only the feeling has been reversed. Daniel, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to – okay, uh, beginning scene of Road, Roadhouse, which is just cinematography at its finest, okay? Uh, oh, we went <laughs> we, – we, we're, we're going to Roadhouse. Yesterday, you're using a Beckett's illustration. I don't know what the – Look, okay. If you, were um, born after, if you were born after 1985, T's and P's to you. Because sorry, I can't help you. No sense. <laughs> Go look. Go watch Roadhouse. You'll understand. Uh, Patrick Swayze, uh, guy challenges him to a fight, and he says, "Let's take this outside." And he walks the guy outside, and the guy turns around and says, "All right, let's go." And then Patrick Swayze just turns around and walks back in, knowing the guy is outside, and shuts the doors. Daniel, you got taken outside and said, "Let's go." And you're like, "All right, let's go." And you got all all up in your feels and all up in your bravado. Just just let the guy go home. Listen, it it's I want it. Bring it. Alabama, uh, I'll be cheering for you. Wow. Okay. Uh, hey, come come back. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly go to ad read. Uh, I'm gonna get back into this with more this or that. But first, let's take a minute. And talk about kicking things up a notch for the big game, the grand stage, the Super Bowl. Super Bowl 56 at SoFi is less than 100 days away, and On Location, the official hospitality partner of the NFL, is the only place to score a -a once-in-a-lifetime Super Bowl ticket and experience package for the big game. Select your exact seats. I know, and choose from elite level experiences and exclusive pregame celebration with college stars tuned or turned NFL legends Troy Aikman, Marcus Allen, Tim Brown, Akbar, do you, Akbar, should be a Miller. There it is. Thank you. I I knew that. American Ninja Warrior. Sometime. Come on. Clay. Can't do it. Can't do it. And more. Plus accommodations at five star LA hotels and food by the great Wolfgang Puck. Visit onlocationexp.com slash Super Bowl SB five six for more information or search Super Bowl on location. That's onlocationexp.com slash SB five six or search Super Bowl on location. 
I want to also let you know about NetSuite. This is it, the putt to win the tournament. If you stick it in, the championship is yours. But on your backswing, your hot falls over your eyes. Is this how you're running your business, Daniel? Poor visibility because you're still relying. Secondary. Okay, thank you. And outdated. Yep, let me get the bucket. Uh, Outdated, outdated finance software. To see the full picture, you need to upgrade to NetSuite by Oracle. NetSuite is the number one cloud financial system to power your growth. With visibility and control of your financials, inventory, HR, planning, budgeting, and more, NetSuite is everything you need to grow all in one place. With NetSuite, you can automate your processes and close your books in no time while staying well ahead of your competition. 93% of survey businesses increase their visibility and control after upgrading to NetSuite. Over 27,000 businesses already use NetSuite, and right now through the end of the year, NetSuite is offering a once-of-a-kind financing program for those ready to upgrade at netsuite.com slash Locked on NCAA. Head over to netsuite.com slash locked on NCAA for special end of the year financing on the number one financial system for growing businesses. Netsuite.com slash locked on NCAA. All right, Clint. You ready for this or that number two? Give it to me. It's another straightforward question. Sure. You and I have had a lot of conversation on air that has been well documented. Go back and watch the previous this last week's episodes. It's it's rough. Um, we've also had conversation off air. And um, listen, not been a good week for any Georgia fan. OK, make you question a lot of things. A to, lot. And including why do I care so much about college football? So here's my question. Are you ready? I'm just gonna pick. I'm gonna pick a team. Pick a random team. Okay. You can get with this, which is, you continue to be a Georgia fan. Okay. Okay. In this reality, right now, nothing changes. I just continue my life. You can, or you can get with that. Okay. Which is, you become a West Virginia fan. Okay. Let me explain. A West Virginia fan, Clint. Has well, no you make you make moonshine out of your bathtub every day of the week. So you have to move to West Virginia. Okay. Sorry. Like, okay. Thank you. you. you Thank you. To, you have to live with the hill people. Okay. <laughs> but a West Virginia football fan has no expectations. Zero. Saying, like none at all. A West Virginia football fan is happy every time they win, no matter who they're playing. And a West Virginia football fan, every time they lose, says, meh, what are we going to have for dinner tonight? So those are your choices, Clint. You're either you, which I think we can all agree hasn't been your favorite person to be. This I last. actively... I actively hate my own existence for the last week. So, uh, or you can be a West Virginia fan where you can simply enjoy the sport of college football, but not oh, really see, have to care that much about the wins and losses in the outcome. See, this is this is wild because rivalry games, now if there's a conflicting game when Georgia's playing or, or West Virginia playing, you're like, oh, no big deal. The uh, the Red River shootout is happening. Let's, let's go watch that. No, no worries. Tune into that. Tune into that. Oh, uh, the Irish and USC playing? Sure. Let's, let's watch that. Let's meander on down to the stadium after uh, the sheep get in their pen um, and, uh, and put on the tailgate to the truck once more. And all right on down. See, this is uh, this is great. Why? I don't know, and no one does. That's the point. Why did we take it off? I don't know. It seemed good at the time. Um, uh, look, it's. I hate my own existence, Daniel. I I actively went through an existential crisis this last week. Again, asking if I just stopped caring. Millions of people around the world. Mil billions of people just are living their best life right now. Okay, yeah, having no clue, and I am I am heaping ash on my head and walking throughout life, looking for somebody to look at me cross so that they could punch me and I could feel something again. I could just feel pain in my face once more. Um, Daniel, let's be a Georgia fan. I just it's look. 
Y'all, there, there's some there's some Stockholm syndrome with this, and it's real. But we're here. Let's just accept it. You see it? <laughs> it says it's the Lockdown Bulldogs podcast. It's for fans by fans. This is the only way, Georgia fans. I'll, this is the way. I'm telling you. You can mope. You can. We are going to allow you to grieve in whatever way you need to. Okay. This has all been a, an elaborate trick. Some healthier than others, just so you know. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. No, it's fine. If you need to post some idiotic nonsense in the comments of this podcast, by all means, go for it. Lord knows you won't be the only one posting idiotic nonsense in the comments of this podcast. But it's this is the way, Georgia fans. Okay? This is the way. This is who we are. And when we win that national championship, when we beat Alabama, not saying it's going to be on January the 10th. Here we go. But when we do, it's going to feel that much better. Do you understand? I, you have to believe this. You have to believe that. Stock, this, Stockholm Syndrome. Worth it. Yes. It's worth yes. It. It's worth I, it. I'm with you. Right. I'm, I'm coming, with you. We're coming back, and we've got one more this or that for the people. Uh, first, Clint, let's talk about Made In. Made In. Okay. Uh, I love eggs, and I got a nonstick pan that is beautiful on them eggs. How does your favorite restaurant consistently make such delicious food? The short answer, they have access to the right kitchen tools like I do with my nonstick pan that makes these eggs that are delicious every single morning. We're made in professional quality cookware and kitchen. With Daniel, you know anything about those eggs? Uh, I don't know anything about those particular eggs. I do know something about eggs. Okay, thank you. Uh, anyone is capable of making restaurant quality food at home. If you're serious about cooking, you should invest in your kitchen tools. Maiden's cookware and kitchenware products are used by thousands of the world's best chefs. I tried again their locked uh, their uh, nonstick pan. It's fantastic. If quality and craftsmanship is important to you, you check out Maiden. Maiden is a cookware and kitchenware brand that works with renowned chefs and artisans to produce some of the world's best pots, pans, and wine glasses. Made In produces professional quality cookware for those who love to cook. The source of the finest materials. Made In products are made to last and they offer a lifetime guarantee. Right now, Made In is offering listeners 15% off your first order with promo code Locked On. That's the best discount available anywhere online Made In products are found. Go to madeincookware.com slash locked on. Use promo code Locked On for 15% off your first order. That's madeincookware.com slash locked on. Use promo code Locked On. I also want to tell you about betonline.ag. They are your online sportsbook experts. They are the place that Clint and I go to place every single wager that we do. Bowl season is coming up. Next week, Ooh. we're going to bust out our first round of bowl locks. And if you don't yes, think sir. that the money is going down on the bowl games, then you are fooling yourself. Get over to betonline.ag right now. If you haven't already signed up for an account, sign up for an account. Make a deposit. They're going to give you a 50% bonus on that deposit. You take that free money and you wager on the NBA. You wager on the NHL. You wager on the NFL. You wager on college hoops, college football, bowl games, whatever. They've got player props. They've got over-unders, parlays, teasers, spreads, money lines, whatever you want. It can be found at betonline.ag. They are your online sportsbook experts. They're the place that Clint and I trust. And you should to go there right now, enter the promo code locked on, and you get a 50% bonus on your initial deposit at betonline.ag, your online sportsbook expert. Uh, all right, Daniel. Here's your this or that. Would you rather have this, get with this, and that is selecting an offensive player for Georgia that must, must, get a certain number of touches and you determine how many touches that is per game. So that's this. Okay. okay. So for instance, okay. a running back, you, you dictate that a running back must get 15 carries in a game or touches in a game. And it's this running back and 15 carries. All right. So you're able to name the person Monken, still calling the plays, but I have, I have predetermined that this player will get this many touches. Correct. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Or would you rather get with that, and that is dictating the offensive starting lineup? See, it's tricky because I was just going to say I, I could just take JT Daniels 
and 50 and you know like 58 touches or something you know like that <laughs> snapping yeah. the ball does not count as a touch snapping the yeah. ball does not count as a I touch mean, he touches it he okay. literally okay then it, so. okay <laughs> Right. Daniel, we're, we're, we're on the doll, Daniel. We're going to say quarterbacks excluded in that first one. That's what you're saying. In the first one, yes. Second one, you could dictate who starts at quarterback all year. You could start the entire starting offensive unit, or you necessitate a person and how many touches they get a game. See, it's interesting because in years past, I think Georgia fans would agree that Georgia has had a significant problem getting the ball to our best players. Yes. Right? And that's sort of what this first this first one is is hearkening to, right? But you have to take into account all of the factors between because it's not just like they're not necessarily going to be successful touches. No, they they have to touch it, so it has to be a catch or a handoff. Like like a touch is not an incom- it's not a target. Oh, so if I say it's for a wide receiver, is it, if I dictate a number of touches, then it's a catch. Correct. Okay. Well, then I'm going to allow Stetson Bennett to continue to play. There we go. Because there's, I, I'm not saying that I don't wish. JT Daniels were playing more. Okay. But I am saying that I recognize there are things that I do not know about that situation that perhaps other people do know about that situation. So I'm going to let it go. Here's the thing. We know Stetson Bennett can get the ball to 19. Clint. Okay. Stetson Bennett ain't got no trouble getting the ball to 19. And we know that they ain't nobody that can stop them. Nobody. Even the Alabama fans, silent in the comments right now. Because nobody hmm. can stop 19. Nobody. But what if I told you that Jorge Pickens was also going to have 15 catches in the game? And now we're talking about a little two-headed monster. Here. So this you're going to tell game. me. Yes, you're going to tell me that I'm going to have Brock Bowers doing Brock Bauer things again with a with an inferior quarterback, and there's no other option. Brock Bowers is right; the cream rises to the top. And now I can again guarantee 15 to 20 catches for Jorge in a single game. And let me just spoil it for you: you don't need a genie or a this or that or a wizard to grant you this wish. That's happening on on December the 31st. That's ha- that's happening. Okay. That's All right. Or hey, you know what they you know they I'm, I'm hold your tongue. Mm-hmm. Hold your tongue until you see it. And I'm just cautioning you. I'm a lot cautioning of arm, a lot you. Of armchair coaches out there, but listen, this is this is happening. Oh. It's happening. Oh. If Jorge's on the field, he will get he will get the ball. Is that what happened on Saturday? When he was on the field, did he get the ball thrown to him a lot? A high percentage of the time that he was on the field? Yes, he did, because he wasn't on the field very much. Do you really think he's not going to be on the field very much after a month of practice? I don't – Daniel, I expect nothing. I expect nothing. Okay. This is my reality. This is – yeah, but at least you're not a West Virginia fan. That's what we (laughs) – That's – that's what we that's what we've settled. Tease right, and peace. We will be back tomorrow and um he finally answered the phone. John John from John Tweet Sports is is coming back. He's coming on tomorrow. He'll be here with us and um you want to talk about somebody who is just as wrong about Saturday as we were. It's this guy. So buckle up Clint. We're about to just about to go through it all again. Uh, Come back tomorrow, and we'll see you guys then. See ya.